Yo, it's your boy Op C here. Yes, yes, yes. The day is Afromation Saturdays. The boy got the Afro. We doing on day 125, 125 days of Afromations. Today's affirmation was something to the fact that every man is a golden link in my chain of good, right? And then the other one was that um, God blesses me and the main thing out is that I act quickly. I act quickly and give instant obedience to my intuitive leads. That's what my boy Grant Cardone said. He said, man, he said, man, it's massive action, man, but you can't give, you can't give Phil time. Say the enemy, he say, the friend of Phil is time. The more time you give it, the bigger it gets. It eats on time. So what you gotta do is, it's what? What you gotta do? What you gotta do is, you gotta act quickly. Once it pops up, you feel that feel, you got boom, snuff it out. It's like a little small fire, right? Some embers burning. That, them embers always burning. Everybody always have that embers of fear burning inside them all the time. It's always there. Burning, smoldering, smoldering, waiting for that oxygen to come in there, waiting for some more fuel to come in there. Then when the fuel is sparks up, then if you don't snuff it out quick enough, the longer you let it spark up, then it turns into a blaze. Yeah, yeah, that's how I do, man. It's on there all the time, though. That's the deal. It's always in there. Ready to rear his head. So yesterday, now, that's my affirmation for the day, but I want to tell you, you know, your boy pumped in that, you know, it was going for no Fridays, and that's what I have been realizing that I have been doing is just kind of going through the motions. Wasn't necessarily putting in the work. On Affirmation Saturdays, that's pretty easy. I just listen to affirmations. I read affirmations. Planning Sundays, I can't really just, still just kind of write stuff down, but I ain't been really planning, planning. So we're going to start working. Tomorrow is planning Sundays. We're going to write some plans out. Then on Asking Mondays, I can do the Asking Mondays. Then on the One Thing Tuesday, I read the One Thing book, listen to the One Thing podcast. Then I think about getting to my, uh, my uh, what do they call that thing, into my time block. I can do that. Seeking Wednesdays, that's easy, jumping in the Bible. But I haven't been really jumping in and reading multiple chapters, listening to sermons and stuff. I've been doing that, you know what I'm saying? And the full agreements, you know, that's pretty easy. You know, but the go for no, I'm supposed to be exercising in that go for no. You see what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be exercising in that. That's what I had been doing. My no quotient had been going up on a purposeful way. But yesterday, your boy did it. Man, I went out. I said, man, look, I'm going to go for no as much as possible. Trying to reach clients and stuff like that. With clients. With myself. Stretching myself. Then I said, what? Well, smell good. What I said I was going to do too is that I was going everywhere I went for that day instead of just walking I was going to run a jog to that next cubicle that next office. Jog to the bathroom. You know if I, if I pick this jogging up I'm still covering the same amount of ground but now I'm burning twice as many calories. That's a no brainer. I ain't getting my cardio in at home. I gotta burn some more calories some kind of way. What can it hurt? Nothing. You know, ain't like I'm running for 13 miles or something like that. I can wear some shoes out. Yeah, wear some shoes out. But anyway, I'm kind of excited too. I ain't gonna say it out loud, but I thought it, I hope it ain't got out of my head yet. Y'all will never know what it is, but I know what it is. Since the day is Saturday, I already know what I is, but I ain't gonna say it out loud. What I'm gonna do, my nephew supposed to be coming in town today from Korea. 
I'm gonna make sure I wear my mask, right? You see what I'm saying? Cause the last military person came into town, busted us up, busted the family up down the middle, gave them the COVID. So even though they just got over COVID, you know, everybody negative, we still gonna mask up. Ain't nothing wrong with sitting around talking in masks. We won't be chowing down on no meals together, probably not. You know, but we're gonna be talking, masked up. So I'm ready to sit down and, you know, just talk some stuff with him. You know, ain't, ain't a whole lot to talk more. I already talked to him yesterday, but normally the kids, normally me and my sister probably be talking. I'll probably get the microphone and we probably do a little, little odd. Uh, little pseudo podcast you know what I'm saying she'll like that she know I got that got that entertainment set up for she'll know I got it set up for but I got it set up for uh -huh. I'm gonna set that thing up for see what I'm saying ah yeah you know I ain't got a lot of surprises but I got a few I know she'll like that but anyway cause we got all types of stuff there but anyway anyway if they if then I popped in this uh this book, right? Pretty bony. Bro, the book is bony, but I know there's some good nuggetry in there, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat the fish, spit out the bones. Now this book is about asking. You know, you have not because you ask not. Then if you asking. You still have knives because you asked the miss. The motive is the key. The inside is the key. Because all this outside responds to the inside. That's the driving force. You know what I'm saying? If you notice they had a shirt on today, right? So how that go ahead and rock the sweater? You know, just rock the sweater. Look casual Saturdays, just rock the sweater. You know what I'm saying? Even though that last, I'm on a new sweatshirt. That last sweatshirt, I said I was gonna make an unsteel hand made it, right? Yeah, 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 you see that, right? Uh, yeah, I ain't even been on that because I've been doing other stuff. Cause I just got the Bronco in, now I gotta sell it. One of these things, man, you say you want the thing, when the thing come, then you be dragging your feet, man, cause it's some kind of fear in there. But I muscle through one, and I gotta muscle through the other one today, just $50. I'm gonna risk $50. That's what I'm gonna risk, $50. That's it. I'm gonna risk it. Throw that up today. That's going up today. It's already built. It's already lined up. All I got to do is push the button. You worry about the other stuff, the legalities on it. Yeah, that's all pretty good. I like this escrow thing. Put the money in there. You know you're gonna get the money. They know they won't lose the money. Yeah, I like that. So we on that, right? So we on that. Then my son, he got on today, you know, I gotta still work with him, you know what I'm saying? He ain't doing no affirmations and <clears throat> he letting his job kind of beat him up. You know, he letting him beat, him beat him up a little bit, you know? I don't know what he do at work, but I'm like this, man, it's, it's three days, right? Just three days, three days a week. <clears throat> I need to put this, uh, my wife got a saying on the refrigerator that says, good things are coming my way. I need to put on that refrigerator this phrase here. I'm gonna text it to him today. Text it to him first. I'm gonna drop it on y'all right now, drop it. I don't know, this ain't been working out for me, man. I've been riding over these hump, bumps and humps over here. Let me drop it on you right now. If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Who knew, right? Who knew? We thought the things we look at change, and then we change the way we look at things. We thought it go that way. That's the way we've been waiting on. When that changed, man, I, I, man, seeing this believer, waiting on that to change. No, you just got to change the way you're looking at it. Look at a different perspective. Man, I'm going to pop that book in. That's a good book. If y'all ain't read that book, I think it's called the, uh, not Return of the Rag Picker. 
could be the, the noticer. I think that's what it's called, the noticer. And what the noticer does is that uh, he noticed stuff, just like the observer, just like I've seen. He noticed things. And that's what that is, it's a perspective. You gotta look at it from a different perspective, a different angle. And sometimes, if you if you're kind of working through that, and it's kind of hard to go through that. Then that's where your team come in. You got somebody else on the team that can look at it differently for you. So you see what I'm saying? All right. So I'm gonna dive back into these affirmations on my way to work, so that they good and settled in. So when I get to work, I can start putting some into practice. In case some things pop up. You know, we just my daughter was saying, I may I may look at this movie or something. Well it was Atomic Habits. I don't even think I listened to that whole book Atomic Habits. I listened to the little short version. But that's what the guy was talking about, just trying to become one percent better. You no, know, just a little bit better every day. It can't hurt. You're just getting a little better every day. It's gonna pay off. What if it don't pay off? It's inevitable may not pay off the way you think it's going to pay off, but it's going to pay off. It always does. You always get, you always reap what you sow. Not always where you sow, but you always reap what you sow. You see what I'm saying? And that's the name that thing. Eh, eh. You can get on over there. You going to catch me. I'm rolling like an owl. exit then I'm people all right I'm gonna go and put it in y'all listen to me talk to my, my fellow uh travelers out here travelers let's go ahead and let this guy get on over my fellow travelers there we go go ahead my man go and burn the rubber pray you make it to your destination safely all right I'm here now going to work man to be of service better thyself. Peace out. Do it to life. Do it to it. Do it to your life. Alright, let me get back over back in that thing. Ooh.